In this video, we are going to create an station offset point report with not existing coordinate. Uh, usually, we can directly create a station offset point report, but uh, we need to use a separate procedure to add the not existing coordinate of that points in addition to the station offset. In my drawing, I have an alignment here and I have set up points here so what i am going to do is i am going to get the station and offset of these points related to this alignment and also get the coordinates of these points and put it in a excel report so to get the station offsets what you have to do is go to toolbox tab and then move to report manager where you have points under points you have station offset to points so you can right click here and click execute then you can have a list of points in this drawing so if you need no do not need all the points you can uncheck the unwanted points otherwise you can select all to select all the points so here it is saved to a report that is that is a HTML report. Instead of a HTML report, I click here and go to here and I use a Excel file, Excel less. So I already have that kind of report. I will override that one. And remember, you have to select XLS report here. So I click save and I will replace it. Then I create the report. So it will open the report here you can see the report is open now so this is with a, with a blank uh, cells so what i do is i will copy this required data from this area right click and copy and paste it to a new sheet so i will paste it somewhere here so you can see how my data have point number station offset elevation and description so currently we don't have the noting listing coordinates of these points to get that one i move back on to the drawing and i click done here so then i move to prospector and go to points right click and go to edit points so you will see the panorama which you see the point data so i select one row of the point data and click ctrl a to select all ctrl a to select all then right click and go to copy to clipboard here i click and copy to keep clipboard so i click that one i close this one then i move back to the excel sheet now i am in the excel sheet so i will create a new tab and paste that data i copied so from this data what i need is the noting and listing instead of noting and listing i will also choose the point number so i will copy point number noting listing data and right click copy and move back to the original tab where i have this data then I will paste it somewhere here. Right now I have nothing listing data as the last point number. Now what the problem here is these point numbers are not equal at each row. So what I do is I will arrange it in such a order, such a order that I can read them easily. The easiest way is arrange them from smaller to larger so i select this row select this column right click and go to sort sort smallest to largest and here expand the selection that means it will expand to the other area this whole area and it will change the other data in the sort order so i will click sort you will see these are changing here now these are changed from smallest to largest. I will do the same for this as well. 
so what from small edge to largest span the selection now you can see both have same data in each row right so now you can copy these noting and nesting data uh, to this one so I will add another column here and I will cut and paste here I will delete this one and then I will change it to border here we have one wanted border right so this is how to get the station offset data with noting listing coordinates from civil 3d to uh, excel so now you can use this data for further needs in addition to that i have to tell you one point is out of range because it is out of the alignment so if you need you can delete that one because it does not have a uh, station value i will show you that in the drawing here you can see this point this point this point number is 957 the last point it is out of the alignment because the alignment is calculating the perpendicular distance to the point so this is out of the alignment that is why it is giving as out of range so if you need you can delete that point otherwise you can use that point in your uh, work so that is how to create a report that includes station offset data and noting listing data of point that related to alignment